Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to be discussing lesson 2.3, factors and factor pairs. These are two very important vocabulary words or concepts that we are going to be discussing over the course of the unit, but we really want to get into them today. Factors and factor pairs, very related things. Okay, so let's start with mental math. If you have not gotten your whiteboard out, pause the video, go ahead and do that, and then press play to continue on. All right, so our mental math. Here we go. Go ahead, pause the video, write down your answers, plus press play when you're ready to move on. 7 times 4 is 28. 4 times 5 is 20. 3 times 6 equals 18. Here is your next set. Six times nine is 54, seven times five is 35, nine times seven is 63. How you doing so far? All right, and your last set, extended facts. Nine times 50, 60 times 70, and 50 times 50. So nine times 50 is that 45 with one zero, 60 times 70 is six times seven, which is 42 with two zeros, so 4,200, and 50 times 50 is 2,500. How'd you do? Did you get them? Good job. I hope you're getting faster with these by now. All right, so our math message for today, I can slide this down. Our math message for today is list all of the multiplication facts you know that equal 14. Use chips to make arrays for 14 if you need help. So at this moment in the video, if you want to find all of the multiplication facts that get you to 14 and you need chips, pause it, go get 14 chips. Right? Okay, at this point, hopefully you were able to come up with 2 times 7 and 7 times 2, the flip around fact, because this is definitely one of the memory facts you need to know. Just to rem go over our arrays again, this one has two rows and seven columns. This one has seven rows and two columns, but both will get you to 14, which is the point of what we're doing, right? Okay. And the other set, which hopefully you found, there's only one other set or one other uh, factor pair that can get you to 14, and that is one by 14, which is one row, and 14 by 1, which is 14 rows. So, so far, if you're keeping track, 2, 7, 1, and 14 are the only ways that you can multiply to get to 14. You can't do 3 times anything to get to 14. You can't do 6 times anything to get to 14, and so on and so forth. So, these 2, 7, 1, and 14 are actually what we would call our factors and factor pairs. So in this multiplication problem, 2 times 7, the 2 and the 7 are what we call factors. And when they're together like that, they're called pairs. And the 14 is called the product. So a product, we want to remember this, is the answer to a multiplication problem, always. And a factor, Factors are the numbers you multiply together to get a product. Just for those of you who are trying to remember, the answer to an addition problem is a sum, the answer to subtraction is difference, and the answer to multiplication now is product. So sum, difference, and product. We're going to start to remember all of those together. Okay, so product today and factors. All right, so Factors can often be in a list. So the factors of 14 that we covered, we had a 1 times 14 and a 2 times 7, and we had the reverse, but they were still the same numbers. So we just take one of each of the numbers and we put them in order in a row. So the factors of 14 in a list form are 1, 2, 7, and 14. So we can say that 14 has four factors and only four factors, okay? But then factors can also come in pairs. So let's take a look at factor pairs. So what does the word pair mean? 
What things can you think of that come in pairs? Pause the video and brainstorm for one minute how many things you can think of that come in pairs. All right, let's see if you, if you got some of the things that I did. Shoes. Shoes come in pairs. And look at that. There are two of them because you can't have one shoe. You have to have two shoes in a pair. Ears. Ears come in pairs. And then, of course, earrings also come in pairs. You have to have two. Otherwise, it's not a pair. Socks. Even though you can't find them sometimes, socks come in pairs pairs they come in too. And what about pants? We say pairs of pants. Why do we say a pair of pants? It's one set of pants, one pair of pants. It's because it has two legs for your pants. So all of those are pairs and what pairs have in common is they always have to come in twos. So if we are looking for the factor pairs of 18, we are going to need things in sets of two. All right. So just like you did with 14, I want you to find the factor pairs of 18 using chips. Make sure you have 18 chips. See if you can find all the factors and then come on back. Okay. Here's the biggest one. This is a one by 18. So your factor pair would be one times 18. By the way, one, always a factor. Of every single number, one is a factor. One and the number itself will always be factor. So you almost already know a factor pair before you even have to do any thinking. All right, what's the next one? Okay, this one fits on my page. This one here is a factor pair. It is two times nine, right? So, so far we have one times 18, oops, and we have two times nine. Let's keep track of that. What's the next one? What is this one here? What do we got? We got three rows and one, two, three, four, five, six columns. So a three by six. So another factor pair of 18. So are we done? Let's see. If I were to shift these around and I were to try and make rows of four, would it work? It does not work so because I cannot make an even number of rows. This row, these rows have four and these rows have five, which means it is not an array and four is not a factor. Okay, how about five? What if I made five rows? One, two, three, four, five rows. No, nope. these rows have three, these rows have four, so five is not a factor and I already know that six is. So I don't have to test out six because I already did it. So I found out that my factor pairs of 18 are one times 18, two times nine, and three times six, okay? And I know because I tested, I got to my turnaround point. I tested four, that didn't work. I tested five, that didn't work. And then six starts my up list, okay? Okay, if we're not using chips, we have to use something else and we have to see if, uh, divisibility rules, okay? We have to find out if we can divide by something. Is it divisible? Is 12 divisible? Well, we're not working a lot with division yet, but we can use our knowledge of multiplication. So, as I told you, if we're finding the factor pairs of 12s, the very first factor pair will always be one and the number itself. So now we have one pair. Then we're going to go in order. We're going to test 2. Does 2 go into 12? Count, skip count by 2s. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So it does work. And hopefully by memory facts you can see that absolutely 2 would go into 12 6 times. So we would have a 2 times 6 that would work. Let's, let's check 3. Let's see if 3 fits evenly into 12. 3, 6, 9, 12. We land on it, so yes, it is a factor. And we did three, we did four groups of three. Three, six, nine, twelve. Three, six, nine, twelve. So it was multiplied by four. Okay. And then since we already have tested that next number, it's in this, we know it works. But what about five? How do we know that five doesn't go there? Well, 
anything that is multiplied by 5 will end in a 0 or 5 and this ends in a 2 so it's not divisible by 5 okay and it is divisible by 6 if I skip count by 7's I don't land on it 8's I don't land on it so we have found all of our factors of 12 okay factor pairs of 20 what is the first factor pair of 20 you know it already go ahead and write it down I hope you wrote 1 times 20 1 and the number itself of course 1 is going to go evenly into 20 and so is 20 what's the next number we try let's try 2 does 2 go into 20 evenly I hope you can see that it does and its partner its pair partner will be 10 2 times 10 let's check 3 well I know that 3 times 5 gives me 15 3 times 6 gives me 18 and 3 times 7 gives me 21 I never landed on 20 so 3 is not a factor what about 4 4 times 4 equals 16 4 times 5 equals 20 we're there and look at that I don't need to test 5 because it's on the other side I have found my stopping point so the factor pairs of 20 written nice and neat are 1 times 20 2 times 10 and 4 times 5 we've gotten them hopefully you're getting this go ahead and try on your own the factor pairs of 24 come back to the video when you want to see the answer I started at 1 times 24 I figured out that 2 went in evenly because this is an even number and 12 was its partner I tested 3 I skip counted by 3 8 times and it got me to 24 I skip counted by 4 6 times 4 8 12 16 20 24 6 times and it got me to 24 so now the only thing left to test is 5 because it's the only thing between these the, the, the turning point here it's the only thing so is anything times 5 land on 24 the answer is no way 5 times 4 is 20 and 5 times 5 is 25 we never land on 24 so these are all of the factors okay guys we're ready for our book work when the book work today is going to be on page 39 but I do want to call your attention to something they're going to give you a number and you have to find the equations that go with it with, with two factors and then you have to put them in pairs this is very very um, repetitive however when it says equation it means it needs to have an equal sign that's what equation means its equations will have equals or greater than or less than symbols factor pairs do not so what this would look like for 12 is equations would be 1 times 12 equals 12 12 times 1 equals 12 2 times 6 equals 12 6 times 2 equals 12 3 times 4 equals 12 and 4 times 3 equals 12 so those are equations because they have an equals and the answer the factor pairs are just 1 and 12 2 times 6 and 3 times 4 that is the only difference you do not need to write the flip around facts here because uh, when we write them in pairs um, that's how you write it equations is a little different but for factor pairs these work to, to flip around okay so page 39 raise your hand if you need help from myself or mrs. Bransfield good luck